Hi everyone! In this video I'm going to show you a few different animal sculptures you can make using air dry clay. The first is a snake sculpture. Using some clay, roll out a coil. You can do this in between your hands just to get it started. I'm rolling back and forth and I'm pressing in case there's any bumps. Then using a flat surface, roll out the clay. Again, if you feel some bumps, you can pat down where the bumps are. Once your coil is nice and long, you can begin curving it around and then double up on the end to make the snake's head. You can use some water, just one drop, to smooth out any cracks and to really attach the pieces of clay together. Use the edge of your finger or a pencil to create a mouth. And then you can use the eraser part of the pencil to push in two eyes. And there's your snake. Once it dries, you can use watercolor to paint your snake. This is how to make a snail sculpture. Take your clay, and similar to the snake, roll it out between your hands, pinch out any extra large bumps, and then place it on the table or a flat surface and begin to roll out a coil. Once it's a little thicker than the thickness of your finger, you can use your finger to measure out a thick piece, and then the rest of the coil you will continue to roll out till it's a little thinner. Next we're going to roll the shell by creating a spiral. So you're just going to continue to roll it gently. You'll see that it might start to crack. So use one drop of water and place the water in the crack and begin to push together and smooth out the crack until it's completely connected again. It might help to put a little bit of water over your clay before you start to create your spiral. Again with the cracks, put a little water on it and smooth out with your finger. Once your spiral is complete, you're going to make kind of an L shape for your snail's head and body. Then you can use your fingers to begin pinching the antenna. You can also use an extra little piece of clay and attach the antenna on. Place a little water on its back and squish your shell into place. And now you've made a snail sculpture. Now for the most challenging but rewarding sculpture. Here's how to make a clay animal sculpture that has four legs. Starting with a ball of clay, roll it between your hands until it becomes more of a sphere. Then begin to use your whole hand to pinch the top third for a head. Next, use three fingers to pinch the snout. This is where the nose and mouth will be. Next, begin to pinch the ears. Your ears will be different than mine based on what kind of animal you want to create. I'm creating more of a cat or dog animal, so my ears are going to be shorter and slightly more pointy, but if you're making a bunny, they probably will be a lot taller and longer than mine. So before you begin pinching your ears, make sure you know what kind of animal and what shape you're going to be making. Once you finish, use a pencil to make an indent in the middle and then one indent on each side. This will help you form the four legs of your animal. You're going to begin pinching some of the middle clay out into each of the legs 
it might help to push a hole inside first and then begin pinching each of the four legs individually. It's going to take some effort and perseverance to push through and make your animal look the way you want it to. Make sure to smooth out any cracks that happen before they begin to tear your clay pieces. You can pinch a tail and smooth out any parts that need to be smoothed. This will help make your animal sculpture stronger. Last, use your pencil to impress some eyes. If you want, you can push in some paws by just bending them a little bit forward. Here are some animal sculptures my past second and third graders have made. Have fun and remember to send me a picture when you finish your animal sculpture.